So we're now at the back of the actual Telford Centre where we can obviously have the show tomorrow ultimate stance and behind the two awesome Hillman imps from Rob and James. We're going to do a throw shoot now. Let's go and check them out. They're freaking amazing guys, seriously. You see them on Instagram, but I'm like, look at them now. They're just like, they're small, but they've got such impact and the way you've done them. Yeah. So different to each other, but so freaking yeah. cool, man. Wow, check these out. So these are the two we are photographing today. Retro Core Hillman Imps. And as you can see, totally different styles. Clean classic look with Rob's on the right, the green one. And then with James's on the left, more of a as you can, martini racing look. Absolutely beautiful. So we've got the autumn weather with us. So we're gonna get some leaves, I think, do some low shots and get these bad boys all done. shoot the day before ultimate stance and all sorts of cars come here and as you can see something probably amazing Lincoln you don't see many of these out here and you can see over there helmet in racing style and obviously the other one down there is more of a clean retro look do some photo shoots Carl's gonna be filming so let's check them out <laughs> So I'm just curious, obviously, what was the first car you had before this, or was this before your first car? my first car. And why this type of car, what drew you to the car? My, my dad has had roots cars through his, his sort of, um, him learning to drive and university and all the rest of it, so he's got a Hillman Minx. And then when I started being like, I want a car, yeah. um, as a restoration project, I think my dad saw it as a way of being able to buy a car, put it on the drive, because mm. my, my mum signs off what you can have on the drive. So he thought, well, she won't say no if it's for, for our son. Sure. So I think dad wanted one. And it was a um, birthday Christmas present. So you don't wow. say no to a free car, do you? Hell no, not like this for 16. That's amazing. So it was uh, it was one of those. And then it's too sentimental to get rid of it. So yep. you just have to make it what you want at the time, so it's had a few different guises and all the rest of it. Okay. But I just want it to be modern, mm. usable, but still original bodywork and that. I agree. So so interior-wise, I can see a few things have been done. I'm curious, take me through a few of the things that you've yes. got here. Obviously, we've got the um, speakers there. It's vibe speakers audio, under yeah. under the uh, rear seat. Okay. A subwoofer disguised as a uh, picnic blanket. Nice. <laughs> um, so it's a full vibe system. Yes. It's really quite loud. I used to have Vibe in my little Fiat Cinquecento actually. Yeah, it was, I had a sponsorship deal with them so nice. Um, it was all sort of stuff that they recommended which is kind of cool. I made this center dash yeah. um, which has got my uh... Oh let me come around the other yeah, side have a look at this guys uh, and he's going to show us a dashboard which I think it may have an iPad in filtered so let's see if I can oh, pop inside. Oh there we go. Ah, so is this, uh, it's not an iPad, is it? Or is it no, it's an, it's an Amazon Kindle. Oh, really? Yeah. You put an Amazon Kindle? That's so dope. Yeah, so um, <laughs> that runs into my head unit. Okay. Um, I've got um, Apple Music, obviously, Google Maps, Air Ride Control. Oh, that's cool. And the um, software for the um, onboard ECU, because I'm on fuel injection. So that's Bluetoothed onto here, so on the way here, Wow. I've had my... Um, uh, digital dashboard on. That's crazy. So we've got RPM, uh, oil temperature, coolant temperature, huh. and GPS ground speed. That's genius. And obviously, is that the original dash to the Hillman, this that is, one there? Yeah, that is the original thing. And you got that next to it. And what a cool combo. This, th these bits here, they're yep. out of a single chamois, which was like the, the posh model, because yep. this, this is only a super. So originally that would have just been a shelf. 
And then I've made this um, because I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a panel beater, I make panels. Awesome. So this is an aluminium panel that's obviously a bit deeper to allow for the um, seven inch screen. That's incredible. I would have never noticed. I mean, that, that is so cool. All the new tech inside a retro vehicle. Brilliant. That Love was, it. That was, the, uh, that was the idea. I had so many different, you had your phone with Bluetooth, you've got a radio. It was, it, it was all, nothing was working together. Sure. But that just brings everything together. I, that's fantastic. Yeah. I love that. That's awesome. Yeah, so originally the, the rear light loom would have ran across there and the wires dropped down yep. onto the engine and it just looks really messy. Sure. So what I've done is I've removed all the clips, took the loom on the inside because the length is there. Okay. Um, and it just it just works better. And then at the back, I've taken the wires through that are required for the engine up behind the firewall. Hmm. So it's, it's as good as a wire tuck as you can do wow. on a classic car. Absolutely, it looks clean um, as anything. It still needs a bit of tidying up. Yep. I'm going to have a front radiator so all this can be moved. Okay. Sort of generally try and get it as smooth bay as you can with such limited space in such a small package. You know? Sure. So the engine is obviously original. Engine is the original engine. Was it taken out, anything done internally or what's been yeah, done? Yeah, so um, I rebuilt this seven years ago. We've got a a 20 plow overbore, um, big valve head, race cam, fuel injection, a Toyota Supra starter motor. Oh wow. Uh, that sort of thing. So I've had it on the rolling road, it does 60 brake horsepower at the wheels mm -hmm. from 890 cc's. That's pretty damn decent actually for some So it, it's pretty nice and on the motorway with the fuel injection and obviously the uh, distributorless system. Yep. Uh, about 55 miles to the gallon. That's decent, says it, when you think of that. And you probably hit, what, 60, 70 mile an hour pretty easily on the motorway? It, it kind of struggles, it, it's a, a little bit. it only being a four speed. Mm. So it's about 60, 65 is quite nice. It'll do bad. 70, 80. Yep. I've had it higher than that, but uh, the faster you go, the more airs underneath it, and it kind of gets a bit light and skittish. So. Sure, I understand that. That's crazy, that's awesome, that is. And uh, this exhaust, obviously custom made? Yeah, yeah, that was, um, that was a little project last winter. Yeah. Um, the original, like the race cars, when they when they raced these back in the touring car series, they did away with the silencer that's there. Yep. And they put um, an Aston Martin silencer at the back, which would have been sort of easily available at the time. Obviously now there were thousands. Yeah. So I've done my own little copy. Nice. Um, a little bit neater by have, keeping the silencer under there and just having a straight pipe. Yep. At the back. Um, the idea being that with it being such a small exhaust system. It lacked length to get the gas flows up, mm. so they put them underneath the back to give you a bit more exhaust system. Because otherwise, it's just really, really short. I get it. Wow, what an effect though it looks! It's absolutely amazing. I'll polish it up at some point so it actually matches the bumper. <laughs> oh, it's getting there. There's, it's there's, good. there's jobs that fall to the bottom of the list. No, that's understanding. That's awesome. So this looks really amazing. I love the setup. So thoughts behind all this? What was? Um... Well, you've got the fuel tank under there. Yep. So that's sort of in its original position. Um, those are originals that were just covered in Alcantara. And then that would have originally been the spare wheel. So I've done away with the spare wheel. Um, and then put this board on, which allowed me to be a bit more creative with my boot build. Sure. Because I'd seen what other people were doing with boot builds. And yep. I was like, well, I want to do something something similar. I wanted some copper hard lines. I wanted some red leather in here. You know, just sort of try and tie it all together, but not go too over the top. Yep. So, that was it. It was, a, it was a homemade build with a bit of uh, bit of plywood. So did you do this yourself? Yeah. Put it all together. So all the piping. All the piping. My goodness. I had to watch some uh, some YouTube videos. Sure. And try and figure out how to get it so that you go from one fixed point to another fixed point, and then try and make them as symmetrical as possible. I'm still not perfectly happy with it, but. I mean, it looks pretty damn good to me when That's, I look at that. That's a good yeah. job for it. Like you've never done it before to just go no. and do it yourself. But that was That's it. amazing. I, I, I'm sort of of the opinion that if I'm going to pay someone else to do it, yep. I'll have a go first. Fair play. Because if I'm paying a man, all he's got is experience, which is obviously really important. But I, I remade each one of those pipes about four times. Until you got Whereas it right. you pay someone, it'll have done it once. Yes. But I really enjoy doing it. Absolutely. Look at the result. And you've built, I mean, all, I mean, on the car itself, how much have you done literally yourself with? Um, apart from the um, trim, yep. which uh, James did, everything, uh, the bodywork, paintwork, um, the Amazing. engine, the air ride kit is the one I designed myself, uh, did the wheel, just, 
all of it. It's incredible work. I mean, blown away. I mean, this looks incredible. Just to keep it as cheap as possible. Do you know what though, the result from that, you've learned so much, you've yeah. got so many skills and you made it your own, instead of like thinking someone else's yeah. ideas. Well, when I started doing this, I was um, a trainee manager at John Lewis, Okay. and I now restore cars full time. That's what you've done there, so you decided, so you literally got all your skills on this and you decided this is what I now want to do. I used the car as a CV, awesome. and went to a restoration place that was near me that I never knew about, yeah. and I said, I've built this, do you have any jobs? And I was fortunate enough for him to say, yeah. Seriously? Yeah, give it a go, see if, see if you can do it. And I've been there three years now, best thing I've done. Never heard that before, that's incredible. That is such a, uh, that is a really cool idea. I mean, what, what can you say? You've got the proof there, you've yeah, built I've it, you've shown them. That's it, I said I haven't got any qualifications that are in um, for automotive or anything like that, but this is what I can do. Incredible. Myself. That's inspiring, seriously. I've n we've never heard that before, and all the people we've met, yeah. we've never known someone who's actually done that and then gone as like a CV to a place. Yeah. Hands down to you, seriously. Yes. That's amazing. So we do a shooting side, and if you turn this way, Carmen, you get another really nice parking. We're just getting some photo shoots with the guys, it was important to get that. We're going to tell their story, by the way. So it's inside the car now, Rob, so we can go over behind Carmen. Just finishing up one photo shoot for today. Um, yes, that's always the good thing. Um, we have this car in the background in our way, so we are going to move a little bit further up the road. Both of them are just putting their gear back into the cars and we will be making our way a little bit further up. Yes, get those leaves coming up because it's really cool. You've got all yeah, the leaves that's going on and uh, then we're going to see what's going on inside as well. Everyone's preparing their cars oh. so that you can see I'll show you people behind her <laughs> cleaning all the cars ready for the show. My head everywhere. It's a bit blurry back there but they'll go past. Yeah, we'll get on across the side. Oh, look at that. Yeah. The louder the better. Cool, so obviously the outside of this looks incredible. Martini racing, loving this theme. So before we go into that, why the Hillman Imp? And was it your first car or is it? Um... Yeah, it's my first car. I wanted something old and different and something that I could learn to work on and do the engine and stuff. Okay. And I just, the cars I looked at was either an Imp because my dad had one and I used to, he had a toy that I used to play with. So I kind of like, always like that. I don't know why, it just, yeah. it just sticks with you, don't it? Sure. And then it was either that, a Dolomite, a Mini or a Viva. And I just thought, if I do a Mini, someone else is going to pull up to a show in exactly the same one. Mm. They've all been to a degree done. True. Uh, Vivas were hard to find, Dolomites are hard to find in good condition. And then this came up on eBay for a grand. Really? And it was, yeah, it was, it had the arches on, had the bib on. Oh. And it was red and the interior was gone. So obviously perfect for me. So I put my stamp on the interior. Sure. And I can do everything else to it. Obviously the engine needed work. And I've always wanted to go like, oh, kind of race car yep so it's, if you look at the old Brabham Formula 1 car from 1976 same year as the car it's got the martini and it's red because martini is obviously like done with white usually and I, always, I, wanted to, I love the martini stuff but obviously it doesn't really work on different colours so then I found this Formula 1 car and obviously it just because it's from 76 as well you supplied in so well absolutely so, it works it does work really really well so then there's other custom pushes we've done like the uh, guy's body work so the lights at the bottom, the side lights, so round. Well, yep. Probably one of the imp with round side lights on it, so that's okay. a custom touch. 
Cool. Just thought without the bumper, the lights are square so it didn't kind of fit. So we just wanted to find for their uh, Range Rover fog lights with a custom bulb in it. So the bulb's a side light and the same bulb is a side light and an indicator bulb. Huh. So just like little touches like that. And then, That's a really good touch actually. Yeah, and then like the vents are like our Sierra Codsworth. The uh, boot spoil is custom, the dovetail boot spoil is fully custom. Yep. So I just wanted it. I like the old Japanese look still. And I like the old race car stuff, the period race car. And uh, the wheel choice, I mean, I really like them. The deep dish, like, they're steels, aren't they? Yeah, the Weller wheels. Weller wheels? Yeah. Uh, it yeah, looks so good. I've with Weller quite a lot. So it's, obviously, the, it's a eight kind of fit with the arches. They've got a bit of a spacer on them, but they fit nice, and uh, the offset work really well. And if you, again, if you go back to look at the Formula 1 car, they do have this kind of style of wheel on. Yes, so, no, no, you're right. It's so incredible. We had Cobb Promoters on a few years ago. Okay. I just wanted to change it up this year and make it look a bit more like with the roll cage and the arch. Yeah. Just make it look a bit more race car. And obviously it's on air ride. Yeah. Um, I talked to that by Rob. So yeah. It's Rob's old system. Gotcha. When he upgraded his system, he helped me fit this one to mine. To mine so it just incredible. makes such a difference. You know, I never used to be the lowest car, like yep. the lowest Tillman in but it was just never comfortable. Well, like, I'm getting a bit older now, I've had it for 10 years. <laughs> I just wow. wanted to put it up, have a nice drive, comfortable drive, get to yeah. a show, and then I want to still want it to look good when I get to a show. So That's fair enough. It's not quite as low as like as low as Rob's, but because mine's a bit more racy, it kind of suits it not quite on the floor. So yep. I kind of like it like that. Yeah, no, I think you're right. I think it'd be too low. Yeah, I think you've got the nice compromise. Yeah. It suits it well. Yeah. So wow. If you sat down fully on the floor, I don't think. I think it'd lose the impact of it being a bit I think racy. so. I think it would, you're right. Because the front end is a little bit lower than the back end when you look at it. Yeah. So yeah, it would be a little bit slightly. Yeah. It's great, man. Thank you so much. No worries. Try to see if that works again. <laughs> Don't love you, the leave stuff going on. I keep seeing them thinking we're going to get you guys after. <laughs> All right, cool. So, so sorry, yeah, the, uh, the um, beer bottles, my girlfriend went to France when we first got together. And because she's blonde, she saw this beer bond bottle top that her dad was drinking and she brought it back for me like as a little present so when we were first going out I thought it was quite cute just to stick it in the middle of the steering wheel and I thought it was a bit, yep. of, a bit of a different touch. I think it's a cool thing I was thinking is if I pull that out it's going to be a bottle but obviously no, not. No, no, no. <laughs> So what's the the theme? Obviously, I see a lot of like, this like really old vintage kind of leather going on, yeah, and um, marine vinyl. Oh, it's vinyl! So, yeah, wow! So, uh, I wouldn't even know the difference. That's good, actually. So, uh, that number does like to make a record. Sorry, guys, bear with us a second. When he's finished his thing. <laughs> okay, let's go. <laughs> Basically, uh, Fairline yachts that we do a lot of work for tried this material as like a sample. And they didn't like it, so we had a lot of material like, lying around at work. I think it's great. Yeah, so it, when you stretch it, it just stresses, so it goes orange. And it just looks like, it, to me, it looks like a bomber jacket, and it looks. It, I, don't, I, don't, I, never to, I never wanted it to look brand new. I always wanted it to look worn and. And it does. And beaten and I would have never known that would be vinyl. I'd have thought it was like an yeah, original leather. Like old, you found yeah. it. This is brilliant. I've never actually. found it since. So I can't find. It. I wanted more, obviously, in case something happens. Sure. But everything, like, because it, it scratches quite nice. It's scratched there. Like, it's amazing. Wherever you stretch it in places, it just distorts. So it's. That's incredible. Yeah. So you wanted to keep that sort of vintage look. Yeah. The I brown like the jacket, old leather type look. So it, it, like everyone says, they don't know it's vinyl. So. They can't no. Vinyl. That's it amazing. So well. And so. Obviously, I'm just looking at the dashboard. Obviously, what's been done apart from that is anything else been going on the dashboard? Uh, I see something with the air ride, I believe, yeah, over there. Yeah, the glove box I did in Red Alcantara and made a mount for the air ride controller. Um, the seats, they're out of a, from a scrapyard out of a Suzuki Swift. Oh, really? Like a 90 Suzuki Swift, yeah. Suzuki so. Swift, do you know what? I wouldn't even know. I think with the leather trim, you, well, the yeah. imitation leather trim you've done. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. We chopped them up a bit. They, they were a bit. I always thought they were a bit thick here, so we chopped them down to make them a bit more classic looking. And <laughs> they look amazing. Chopped them up, and then we just let a custom bit, so wrap this in twine. Yeah. Uh, recently done the roll cage. That took me five hours to hand stitch. Wow, I bet that was go. patience for you to do that. <laughs> yeah, I just love doing it now. Like I do, like I bought this helmet from a uh, auto jungle for like a tenner. No just way. Decided to cool do it, so I did the seventy six to match the car. Like all the material was the same as the car. So you trying to find uh, pieces and parts of the car that are like really old looking, not yeah. so yeah. scrap yards, junk. Uh, I've yeah. obviously car boot sales, I guess, in a way, just to find yeah, those exactly, pieces. Yeah. That so makes I've it even more authentic. For Thirteen years now as well, so I like to push myself like. Helmets. I'd never sure. do a helmet, but it's just fun to do. And it looks really amazing, you yeah, know. Yeah, it suits the car as well. So, like the air ride, the 
the building in the backs all the same material as the car and stuff so just try and keep it Amazing. All linking in, but like, yeah. definitely up. Like, I want people to look in and just keep noticing little things like the winders, stuff escaping. Yeah, I, I love that. I think that's such a neat touch. Yeah, everyone has pool balls, but I found a snooker ball. It's a bit <laughs> smaller and a bit nicer to grab. Yeah, that's but amazing. It's got the devil, obviously, because imp means little devil, so it's a ah. little nod there to him. Um, did not realise that that's yeah. what it meant. See, I learned something new. I've been in the car scene for a while, but you always don't know everything. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And it's nice to learn something new. That's yeah. amazing. So yeah, I always try and keep like making sure people keep looking around and noticing yeah. little bits. That's Obviously awesome. it's difficult with these cars, people don't really look in them. And some people that look in this and this is how they should be, but obviously like it'd be good today because there's like four of us in the show. Yeah. They can look at different ones and then they can see like what I've done differently and stuff. It's true, you're equally all different yeah. in every style you've got. That's incredible. I've trim Rob's car as well, so it's and I'll be trimming uh, Dom who's cars in the show as well, I'll be doing his soon as well. So Amazing. Yeah, so it's That's cool. Awesome. Yeah. So let's know about what's going on here. Obviously, it's the original engine. Yeah. And has it been taken out? Internals done? What's, what's been happening? So when I first bought it, it was uh, leaking quite badly in a few places. Okay. It was the standard 875, which you get in the car anyway. And I just wanted to stop it leaking and give it a bit more for the road because it was the standard engine struggles to do 67 to keep all the traffic these days. So okay. I it to be a bit faster. Yeah. So there's a vent bolt. Is the <laughs> yeah. The imp engine tuner. Okay. Used to be an apprentice at Roots when they were being built. So he bought it out to 9:30. He bought a fast road cam in it, so it's an R17 cam. He, uh, it's got the front radiator anyway, so it can cope with a bit more. And then from then on, the last couple of years, I've tried different carbs and uh, that's changed to Rob for quite a bit. We went with a fuel injection, so it's all fuel injected now. So sure, it's, yeah, yeah, like it. I saw that's reliable. amazing. Yeah. Just wow. Keep it more reliable. That's amazing. And it's touch wood, the actual engine. I think it's happened too, obviously, I've like had fan belt snap, but like, I had an old head attack that split. Yep. So stuff like that happens, but the actual engine's actually never let me down. Touch wood, touch wood. Yeah, no, of course, yeah, no, I'm sure it'd be fine, but <laughs> yeah. that's amazing. I mean, it looks, it's so clean the way it's been done. I mean, yeah. I do like that, like, really has that it's racing spirit. And now, now the full injection fitted, obviously, I'm gonna, I'm gonna move this, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna tidy it all up. Oh, this is in the wrong place, really. It was, yep. it was to get it going, basically. And sure, get sure. It working. We were rolling, roaded it, and then, and then now I can tidy. Now it's working. I can just tidy everything up and get it looking nice. And so I see the project 191. Is that the name of the the car? Is that where you? No, that's or... an Instagram page that I oh. prep for. Okay. So the, I originally liked their logo, and I got in touch with them and. I used to do a bit of repping for them, so I'll put some stickers on the car and oh, cool. they'll share pictures of the car now and then. Fair enough. So That sounds cool. There. There's a bit of Kasabian artwork. It's my favourite band's Kasabian, so I, ah, Kasabian. I tried to make it look like the oil had splattered. Oh, no way. I've done it with my finger. Get a bit closer. So I have to... Off the first album cover, so... Well, that's cool. Wow. So that's uh, our imp shoot done. Yeah, that's a wrap for today. That's a wrap, yeah. Um, well, not quite a wrap, only on the shoot because now we are yes. going inside, looking around, what's going on, set up day to day for that's everyone. That's true, yeah. So, um, so how do you feel about the two guys we met and the cars? They are amazing what's your guys, honestly. Um, both of them had their imps very young. And um, what did Ross say to me? My imp is getting more Christmas presents than me. <laughs> so you know they love it when that is the case. That's true. I but mean, go on, sorry. Both of them very talented young guys. It's true. Know, you've spoken to him as well. Both yeah, I mean, both literally have self-taught how to build cars to get them to do a job they want instead of working for someone. Uh, Rob, this is what stood out to me when Rob spoke to me, was he was saying that he built the car and he thought, people are asking him, can you build me cars as well? But he had no sort of engineering background or any kind of bodywork background yeah. so he built that car and then took it to a dealer and said do you have any positions and luckily he actually got a job yeah he did a cv car literally to, <laughs> what more can you do the skills there i mean amazing so yeah we're looking forward to showing you guys the full feature we're obviously getting behind the scenes today in the shoot obviously those people are turning up as you can hear by the exhaust notes so uh yeah that's uh that's our first shoot with the Ems for today. See you in the next video.